Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Westboro, the COVID-19 edition. If you haven't seen this show before, my name is Art Bergeron. I'm an elder law attorney at Myrick O'Connell. Our office is right here in Westboro. And my day job is I do uh, elder law, but this is not about my day job. This is about my friends, Frank and Mary. If you've been to presentations of mine in senior centers in the area, you know that Frank and Mary's goal in life is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if they're living in Westboro, that means here. That means they don't want to move to San Diego with their kids. They don't welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary for where I live. They want to stay home. So the point of these shows is to help you know the people that you need to know and the programs that you need to know about uh, in order to stay right here, wh right where you are. And we, Shelby my, Marshall, my wonderful co-host, who is your selectman, and you see her on TV, Myrick O'Connell, our office is right here, and we decided we would do this um, during COVID-19 more regularly um, as, because things have, ch are cha have changed so much over the last several months. So we started doing the shows regularly. So this is the COVID-19 edition of these shows, which it seems like hopefully is not going to last forever, but, you know, not, not still for a while. And Shelby always gets great guests, and today she has a terrific one. So, Shelby, whom do we have today? Yeah, good morning, Arthur. Great to see you again. Um, today, our guest is our Director of Public Works, Chris Pant. Chris, hello. Hi, good. Good to be Chris, here. Nice to meet me. Yeah. Nice to meet you. A pleasure. Yeah, so Chris, in the you know history of Westboro, is a relative newcomer. Um, the first time I met Chris, we were um, that 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 will wear out, by the way, Chris. After a little while, so yeah, I don't feel uh, new anymore. <laughs> um, so the first time I met Chris, uh, we were I think on a Skype call or some version of it uh, when it was sort of you know uh, technology we weren't using on a regular basis, and Chris was actually in Germany, so. We're going to uh, talk about a little bit of Chris is going to introduce himself. Oh, the people that you need to know and the uh, kind of professional background, uh, what brought him to Westboro. And then we're going to talk about the Complete Streets program, which I think um, our audience will be really interested in. And uh, the intent here really is not only to pique their interest, but. And we shall be. Process and tell them how they can be part of it. So, Chris, again, welcome. Uh, great to see you. Um, and please uh, introduce yourself. Tell us, tell her. Your selectman, and you see her on TV. Uh, so, Chris Payant, as Shelby mentioned, uh, been here about a year. Um, my family and I moved here from Germany. So, I was in the military for over 20 years and uh, looking for a place to call home and, and stay for a long time as opposed to just bouncing around. Um, and, you know, Westboro seemed like a great place and there was an opportunity here to, to join this great team. And so um, so that's where we are. And, and so we're settling in and getting to know not only the town and the DPW, but the, the, the schools and everything else here that uh, my kids are part of. And so um, anyways, we're happy to be here. I, I know I've talked to a bunch of groups that and people that might actually be watching this episode, so I'm not going to speak too much. But, uh, you know, it's it's good to be here and, and happy to be here on the show today. Great. Actually, uh, thank you, Chris. So um, tell us a little bit, if you would just kind of high level, what what was your role, your kind of your most uh, recent role uh, when you were uh, in the uh, uh, military and in Germany? Um, so in the military, in the army, I was an engineer. And um, and so most recently I was at a training center in, in Germany. So there's three training centers in the army, two in the United States and one in and Germany, and my responsibility was leading a team that uh, provided coverage to a unit that was training, doing engineer-specific tasks, and we would kind of shadow them, provide feedback, mm -hmm. uh, lessons learned, coach them along so they could get better in their training, um, and, and we do that on a routine basis throughout the year. So Great. that was most recent. Well, as always, thank you, you know, for your service. Um, you know, we have a great country because of great people like you. So thank you. Um, and so, Westboro has great people because of people like you. There's that's a, right. an, as you sure, I'm sure you found from moving to Westboro, it's just an incredible diversity of folks, you know, some oh, who yeah. have been here forever, you know, you know, some like you and Shelby, not so much. Right. <laughs> Right. Um, but 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 but, you know, I met Chris. We were um, it's been really it's great to be through Shelby to be meeting so many of you folks, you know. So one of the um, exciting things about having a, a new uh, director of any you know, uh, department is that they bring new ideas and and um, sort of build off of the foundation that's already been built. And so um, uh, that's why we're here today to talk about complete streets. So, Chris, uh, 
if you would give an introduction and then we'll pause and I'll kind of uh, do a screen share so folks can kind of follow along. Okay. Um, so Complete Streets, it's really an approach um, and, how, and how we want to approach, you know, building, building roads and um, sidewalks and making improvements to, to our community. And um, the, 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 the term complete street is making a street that has, you know, accessible, uh, it's accessible for pedestrians, for bikes, and for cars. And, and so Mass DOT, the Department of Transportation, has come up with a program uh, entitled Complete Streets. And so taking that concept, they've turned it into a program that allows communities, and I think over two thirds of the towns across the you know, Commonwealth are, are participants, can apply to be part of this program and then potentially receive funding through a grant to fund projects that have been identified that facilitate complete streets. And so it's really a, um, a concept, but technically it's a program that the Mass DOT has adopted and a, a way for us to um, you know, identify our needs mm -hmm. and then look for opportunities to start addressing some of those needs, potentially with other people's money, not our own, which right. is always nice. Um, so <laughs> right. That's kind yeah. of the, the gist of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think one of the things that continues to impress me um, about the work uh, done across many departments is um, our uh, departments are are very aggressive um, about applying for grants and, and looking for audience a little bit about who Chris is cost sharing. So we're in the first phase, Chris, of Complete Streets, right? It's really developing that policy and and exploring and correct me if I'm wrong in any of this, but exploring kind of um, kind of where are the initial needs and that policy will then sort of frame work going forward and submission of, uh, you know, future kind of grant requests, correct? That's right. So um, as you said, we'll come up with a policy. The town will come up with a policy and we'll adopt that. That will guide us and how we want to, uh, and that's a requirement as, as part of the grant program, come up with a policy. Mm -hmm. And the second part is for us to come up with a prioritization list. So identify all the things we want to do, mm -hmm. whatever ideas are out there, put them on a big list, prioritize them, and then, and then start chipping away at them in whatever way we can. Um, and so the grant program provides funding, so not town funding, but the grant pays for a consultant to help guide us through that process. And so right now in the process, we are we're in the middle of the idea generation phase where we're getting all those ideas and the mm -hmm. consultant is taking those ideas and, and binning them according to kind of the type of activity it is. And then um, we have a working group that's comprised of uh, many department representatives and then uh, the bike and pedestrian committee, everything else here that uh, my kids are part of. We, we look at this, Big list, and we start prioritizing. You know how we would go about tackling some of these uh, efforts if if we choose to do so. Sure. So, so we'll get we'll get into the prioritization. We'll kind of segue to that by hopefully my successful screen sharing. So I've learned in testing this that I'm not going to be able to see both of you. So if you can't see something, please let me know. But. Um, uh, one of the, uh, I think, important parts of this, um, anytime we talk about programs, is that folks, uh, particularly Frank and Mary, they may need a little extra help navigating through websites and how do I find this information? So um, we're going to show folks how to find the information um, on our town website and how to participate in the process. So here comes the magical screen share. So here, folks, is our town's website. We're going to, uh, you can find the Complete Streets program right now in two, in, through a couple different ways right here through this link, but we're going to bring you to the department link so that you can see the great team over here um, that Chris has under Public Works. We're going to click on that. You should now see the Public Works Department page. There's lots of interesting information on here. And Chris, let me ask you a question while I'm getting to the Complete Streets feedback page, which is right here as folks can see. Um, um, how is Complete Streets different? I know you're going to be coming before the Board of Selectmen to talk about kind of roadway management and sidewalks will be a component of that. How is Complete Streets different? In, in Germany, so there's three sidewalk management and road management program that we have. The, in my mind, the, the only real difference is 
where the money is coming from. And so we have a a potential pot of money through the Complete Streets grant program. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, funding that's provided by the Commonwealth through Chapter 90, uh, which is our source for uh, funding to make road improvements. But but the so that's where the money comes from. But really, in terms of our process mm -hmm. um, and how we make decisions, to me, it's all it's all bundled together. Um, OK, because otherwise we'd be potentially stepping on ourselves. Yeah, well, exactly. Right, right, right. And, and that's right. That's what I wanted folks to understand that this is really I mean, to me, this is sort of additive to the work that has already been done, because now we're looking for uh, funding uh, elsewhere. And it's also really a kind of a tried and true process. Um, and we can learn from other communities that have, you know, have done some really cool things um, through the program. So what I what we've got before folks here, and Chris, I'll have you, um, I'll, I'll drive it, but um, I just want to show folks how easy it is to participate in this. But this is effectively um, kind of the way the community can engage and provide its input um, to ultimately the prioritization, correct, Chris? Yep. So if you go to the left side of the screen, you can see a plus and a minus, and you click on that minus. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> then you'll see the screen zoom out. So it has great people because of people. Like and all of those bicycle and pedestrian icons in there represent comments that have been provided by residents and community members. And and so what this screen allows anybody to do that accesses it is come to the site and identify a location that you think there might be an issue in terms of maybe the ramp sidewalk is in rough shape and needs repaired maybe there's not a a, a crosswalk and you think there should be one um shelby if you want to click on just any one of those sure um, blue sure. icons yep you'll see see something so there's a comment that was added by someone identified a problem and you know maybe provided a recommendation or just just identified the problem which is really the key um mm -hmm. so so those are meeting so many of you folks you know so there and if right. you go to um the note that says points it's right in the middle of the screen in the in the banner you can click on that and it'll offer you the opportunity to go through a series of steps to to make your point so shelby could pick pedestrian and then it would cure to a to a new screen that allows her to type in um you know her comment uh whatever that might be and then you hit submit and it shows up on the screen so it's super easy and it's open to anybody and and what we will ultimately do is take all of these comments and assemble them into a uh you know a database that allows us to organize and then ultimately prioritize where we might want to do some work. But it's extremely user friendly and requires no username and password or anything else that makes things complicated. It's just uh, as simple as what Shelby did right now. And so and so Frank, in terms of, of my friends, Frank and Mary trying to figure this figure this out. So um, um, they they would click on to that. They could click onto this what to this website and to that page. Are they Please streets it's really make a comment. They're not making a Are they making a comment about a particular location, Chris, or are they making a, oh, a generic comment? And so if, and so if the comment is about a particular place, they need to explain that place to you so that you can insert that place on that map. So am I, am I getting this? I'm trying to understand. It could this. be it could. It's a great question. It could be either way. So you could go. You could find a, a location on the map. You could do it. Press the plus and minus, zoom in to wherever yep. you'd like to find an intersection um, and click on that specific location. And that's where your little pedestrian person will show up. Um, but if if you didn't have a specific thing in mind, but you w still wanted to provide feedback, you could just pick a spot anywhere yeah. and, so and, add an icon and make a generic or general comment that's not may maybe tied to a specific location, but I still something. So Arthur, uh, you know, I, I actually went out here and, and did, you know, played around with this for a little while just to make yeah. sure I, I understood how to do it. And one yeah. area that I thought is um, uh, was um, uh, is that uh, is this one right here. So the one I'm hovering over is right at the Highlands. Right. So um, we've got a yeah. number of folks and there's not a safe way right across the street is the post office. 
right? right? But there's no, um, there's no crosswalk. So the other neat thing about this is as folks kind of scroll around and you read what folks have submitted, you can click on that and it allows you to um, add your own comment and add it. So I'm just going to, Chris, if you don't mind, um, this is a test comment. And I, if I add it, yeah. then what you see here is, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, I thought that there were, maybe I'm going to, now I'm going to mess myself up here, but there's a way to see all the other comments in a particular uh, section. On that yeah. spot. Yeah, I see right here. I just opened a different one. Bottom. Yep, there it is. See at the bottom, there are two other folks that have added to this. So yep. you don't, you know, so very easy to navigate the other the other so i'm going to scroll out just so folks can kind of see now, i'm on the east side of town here um got lots of friends over here that have said you know we really can't you know success look at all the comments so it just takes a moment to refresh so as you scroll um you know you'll see don't panic that there's nothing on the other side that you can't add to or that people don't care about your side of the town so to speak right um just give it a moment to refresh and then it pops up um for folks that are not comfortable in what we just sh have shown, and actually I'm going to, Chris, is there anything else you want to show here? No, I think we covered. Okay. Oh, oh, one, I'm sorry. Said. Yeah. One more. So points is there. And then, um, um, uh, I think that, so I just want to walk folks through that again. So again, you just click on points and, it, and then it's potentially with these. But even in selecting, if you select pedestrian, there's still a way, um, we'll just put that there for a second. It, it still gives um, lots of other um, sort of subcategories. Um, and then you have this whole comment section where you can elaborate on what you want to, right. um, what you want to uh, submit. So, uh, so kind of, so kind of as, as you were mentioning, Shelby, so you can actually click on places where people have already clicked and then you're, you're kind of making a comment which is being added to other people or you can you can as a pedestrian or as a cyclist or whatever click on a new point that you think is a real problematic point right that's and add to terrific. it that's wonderful yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty, a really handy tool <laughs> that's it, it, really cool. it really is and and i and there are some other actually you know i should have i should have shown there are actually i found out some things about the town i think there are some um, uh, you know, it shows where some of the trails are. It's pretty, it's actually very cool. So it's kind of a fun way to kind of see what's in the town and kind of where, um, you know, where there are Chris of complete streets, right? It, it ultimately will give, uh, the whole town, but certainly Chris and his team, uh, a, a really a guide for prioritization of projects. Um, cause we know that we can't do everything, right? We can't, you know, the funds are not limited, particularly in these days. Right. Um, hopefully I, Oh, please. Just to your comment about the trails. So we are um, working with the, the the manager of the site so that we can incorporate uh, some trails around there. The um, uh, charm bracelet. Yeah, charm bracelet. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's on there, but we the town had an old sidewalk plan. Um, there's some trail plans that are future things that people have looked at so all of that stuff the intent is to get it all in one spot and then we can Great. you know connect the dots make sure we're actually building a network as opposed to just you know isolated sidewalks or bike paths or whatever but it's a it's a network that makes sense for everybody so so i have a question so if i'm frank and mary and you just blew me away with all of this stuff right and the reason why i'm watching the show on cable is because i don't know what the how to do any of this stuff right and that's why i'm so happy that cable actually tapes these shows and puts them on cable so that I don't have to figure this out. So if I can't figure it out, is there somebody, and certainly I could call one of my kids because they all get this, right? <laughs> and they could do this, you know, they could click onto this site and I could talk to them about it and they could get the information in, you know, for me as a consumer. But if, but if I w don't want to do that, is there someone, is there like a person or somebody that I could call at town, you know, Chris, one of your people, is there somebody that I can call who can help me get something onto that map? Because as you, as you, as you, now that you've described it, it's an invaluable tool and it, because it gives everybody else the ability to look and go, oh yeah, that's right, that's a problem. You know, p things that you wouldn't necessarily have thought of. Start chipping away at them and whatever. On there as the pedestrian and it, it reminds you of what that issue might have been. You know, so I'm just one, wondering. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... Anytime 
somebody had a question, they're welcome to call us. Uh, and our number is right there on the web page that Shelby just had up. And, and, and could you just give us that number just, just in case? We can talk you right through it. Uh, well, you know, uh, we'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Our we'll put it at the bottom. That's great. Yep. We'll put it at the bottom of the screen. That's terrific. That's terrific. Yeah, that, I think that'd be a big help, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's probably more of your pedestrian, you know, you have two kinds of pedestrians. You have seniors and there's like everybody else, and that's a small group, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so most of them are seniors. Yeah, yeah. No, well, definitely, I, I was actually going to propose that, Arthur, so thank you for bringing that up because I, I even though we kind of walked through it and hopefully folks see the simplicity of it, it still can be like, uh, I'm not sure. I don't I don't want to break the system, as my mom would say, right? So, um, um, so I would, yell, call you and yell at you from Microsoft. Because right, 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 right. The world so, just blew up because you pressed the wrong button. Right. So I, we, we, I know Chris uh, would love for everyone to participate and not want technology to be a limitation of that. So, call, you know, if you have an idea um, and you're not sure about, you know, try the technology first. Um, uh, what else can you do, right? We're all at home anyway. You, you, can't, uh, break you, you can't, can't break it. You can't break it. Um, Chris, one question I had is that will this site that we just saw be up for, you know, kind of post policy and post prioritization? Does this site sort of sunset or does it stay up and then sort of we start to see overlays of like, you know, projects underway or something? It, it will sunset at some point. I don't know the exact timing okay. for that, but it, it won't be till later towards the end of this year if, at the soonest. So. Okay. There's there's still plenty of time how we would go about tackling side data, but go review it and for us, for everybody to see it. Um, and I think we'll look at a way because I think it's valuable um, in other, there's other uses for this sort of capability. So yeah. we're going to explore how we could potentially, you know, find other ways to use this sort of um, approach to collecting data. But Yeah, uh, yeah. The Absolutely. answer is yes, it goes away at some point because yeah. it's part of a contract. But uh, yeah. but but we ultimately kind of own the data that has been submitted, Absolutely. and so we'll understand yeah. the data points. Yep, or right. have them. Great. And so and so, my question to the two of you is: so so procedurally, right? Uh, you know, clearly people are going to be inserting the data this way. Uh, I would. I, I, will will there actually be any public hearings or any hearings that are on Zoom regarding any of this? And 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 to both of you, but I think especially to Shelby as a selectman, what's your kind of timeline? And is it and our and I guess to Chris is the is is the is some kind of vote by the selectman endorsing a particular plan uh, necessary in order for you to advance getting funds through the complete streets the the state program? I'm just kind of wondering how the process works and kind of how the timing would work. For people who may be interested in participating, as every good politician should do, I'm going to defer to the expert, ah, Chris. Ah. So, so the policy that we develop and we're required to develop one as part of the program um, will be ultimately presented to the board of selectmen for their approval. Um, the individual projects that are identified, um, there is not a a requirement for them to be approved by anyone other than the us submitting them to the Mass DOT for their approval and for the funding. Um, but I think, you know, I think it would make sense for us to provide some sort of feedback after we finished our process to say, here's here's the top 10 mm -hmm. things or whatever the number is we've identified, and here's our rationale for why we think we should go forward and and then maybe maybe get some feedback on that. But um, but there's no formal requirement to get approval other than for our policy. Um, in, our, in in terms of the process, I see. And so, if I'm a person who's got a real and real interest in this, I really want to be on that priority list that gets developed because from then on in, it's if things are going to kind of happen automatically. So this is a this is. It sounds to me like if I'm Frank or Mary right now, and and I'm interested in a particular location that's got a problem, I want to participate now. That's right. Yeah. That's it's going to affect us for a long time. Otherwise, you got to amend the priority list and do this and that. Right. Forget it. Right. right. So it's a big deal to get something done right now. That's that's great to know. Great for them to know. It is. And at an upcoming meeting, um, I don't have the date off the top of my head, although I probably should. I, Chris, I don't know if it's the 18th or the, it's one the of 18th, our, yeah. the 18th. Thank you. Chris is actually going to be coming before the Board of Selectmen um, and talking about the road management plan and sidewalks. So no doubt he'll kind of give the public, again, an update on how this ties into that. But we will be, this will be a repetitive 
process. But again, I don't want folks to kind of put that off. I mean, I've found that, you know, even just driving around town, I've been like, oh, make a note to myself, <laughs> go back to that, you know, and, and because you do see things, you know, in fact, even in the comment I put about the Highlands, I was like, was I accurate that there wasn't a crosswalk? And sure enough, I drove by, there's not, right? So you are driving around, you see different, you know, places. And and we're talking about like slopes, um, curb cuts. Um, I don't know if that's a technical term where you're sort of yeah. exiting it. You know, if you're in a stroller or a wheelchair or a walker, um, you know, so it's it's anything. Um, and yeah, so I, I actually knew of a client, this was a, maybe last year, who told me that, who was at, who was at, the, com, who was at the Highlands, who said mm -hmm. that there was actually a guy there who had a wheelchair, mm -hmm. right? Power a powered wheelchair. Who would, as a favor to people who were there, deliver deliver their mail for them? Take take the yeah. and go across the street to the post office. Right? Yeah, because yeah. no one wanted to cross the street, of course. Right, you know? so, right, yeah. right, right, right. It's a busy it's a busy spot. So. Right. Uh, Chris, I, I want to thank you so much for being our guest. Um, I would, again, you know, can't say it enough to ask folks to participate in this process. Um, we hear a lot about, um, sometimes you don't hear about all the great things that our, our departments do, um, although they do great work, but we do certainly hear about, I want a sidewalk here, or, you know, we don't have this there. Well, this is your chance, folks, to participate. And Chris and his team stand ready to receive those comments through the website that we just showed or through picking up the phone and calling. They're a friendly group. Um, they're there to help and, and to serve the public. Um, and so I would encourage you to call them. And again, our friends at Westboro TV will put that up on the board. And of course, your comments are going to affect whether your improvement gets done in year one or in year 15. So you know, you may be interested in participating. Right, right. Exactly. exactly. So Shelby, once again, just before we go, you know, yep. I know we're doing these shows every two weeks, but is there any, or, or every week now we've been doing we it. We are. Every, but, but is there anything in particular that people should be aware of, that, you know, mm -hmm. um, and how we make decisions? So, so big news at our Board of Selectmen meeting on yesterday, which was August 4th, for those that uh, want to watch it, uh, we entered into a purchase and sale agreement for the 31 to 33 Eli Whitney property. Um, it is a 66 acre uh, piece of land um, that has amazing uh, topography, trails, streams. Um, uh, it's over by the Fail School. We will be having a special town meeting for a date to be determined, but it will be in the near future um, to actually um, vote for the town to vote to, uh, for the uh, funding um, for that property. Um, and uh, it's uh, one of the priority list for open space committee walk up robinson in the town to conserve um for open space so very very excited it's kind of one of those hundred year purchases um and i uh, hope folks watch that meeting and then ultimately decide to attend the special town meeting that will hold um to approve the funding for it that's a that's a great update thank thank you shelby thank you chris it was really a pleasure and Thanks, Shelby, Shelby, it was great watching you play play with the, some of the tools. I did it. That are, right? You know, a real citizen figured it out. Hey. Uh, and folks, you know, we hope you enjoy these shows. If you've got any, you know, suggestions, talk to Shelby. She was, you know, of course, who was there about, you know, other particular people that you might want to see. But I think this one was really, really informative. And we're going to, because we're, we're every week, we have the ability to show you a real variety of things that are going on in your hometown. So you and Frank and Mary can stay just where you are. So stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, and we'll see you on the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Westboro. Bye, Thanks. Bye.